Two-Minute Teacher Tech. Hello, welcome to Two-Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard, and today I'm going to give you a very brief introduction and overview of Google Classroom. If Google Classroom has recently become available to you, and you want to know what all the fuss is about, I'm going to give you a very brief run through of the program and its features. Google Classroom is the coolest thing to happen to teaching in a long time, and you're going to want to start using it today. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you're signing in with your school Gmail address. Then you're going to type in classroom, click the tab, and there you go, and you're going to select teacher. Now, this is going to take you to your home page. Now, if this is your first time using this program, you're not going to have classes here, but you will have this plus button up here where you can join it or create a class. You're going to create a class, name, grade, and a subject area, and then it's going to take you to your main home page, but you want to select students. When you select students, it's going to give you this code. That's the code that your students will use to join your classroom from their Google Classroom. You can also email it out, but that's really not necessary. Okay. All right, this is your stream. This is where everything happens. You can create an announcement, assignment, a question, or reuse a post. We're going to go through one at a time. First, you select which classes that you want to post in, and then you give it a title and a topic. There you go. You can create a topic. This is a great place to put a strand or your standard, so you can search for it later. And then you can add an attachment from your computer or from your G Drive. There you go, or you can do it directly from your G Drive with this button, or you can add a YouTube video. You can search YouTube with the search bar, or just copy paste a URL of your video here, and then you hit add. There you go, and then you just hit post at the bottom, and it posts just like Facebook. There you go. All right, we're going to delete that, and then we're going to create an assignment, which works the same way. You select a class, give it a title, instructions, and then you give it a due date. Uh, you can give it a due date here, and then a topic once again, and then you can add the same things here. You add from your computer, add a YouTube video, or add a link. There you go. And once you assign it, you can schedule it. If you are going to be out the next day and you want to schedule it to assign the next day, you can do that there. There you go. I'm delete this out of here. All right. And then let's see. We have create a question. This is a great place to get some quick feedback during class. Uh, you can give it a due date, a topic, a name, and instructions also. Select which classes, the same kind of thing. All right, now we're going to hit reuse post. This is everybody's favorite. This is super handy. You can reuse a post from another class or from a previous year. It saves everything. So you just go through, select a class, select an assignment, and hit import. There you go. It imports everything. You can give it a due date and then hit assign. It's just that easy. It's fantastic. You can go up here and change the background and look of your Google Classroom. You can go to about, change the class name, room number. You can also invite other teachers to collaborate. If you work with an ELD teacher or a special ed teacher, this is a great place to invite them into your classroom. All right, once you've created that assignment, it's going to look like this right here. You can click it. It's going to show you a list of your students, and it's going to show you their work as they work on it. You can double-click on a paper and watch them type. You can edit. You can collaborate. You can add notes as they go, and it's a great way to work over their shoulder from your desk. Over here, you can see where you can add a grade. Once they hit Turn In, it's going to show up in your Done list. You can grade it and give it a grade right there, which is really cool. All right, now, this is how it looks once you've populated your students. You still have the code over there in case a student comes in late, and it also has a place where you can add the parent's email address or Google Classroom classroom will automatically send them class announcements and summaries of their student work, which is a great way to keep the parents involved. All right, well that does it for a brief introduction and overview of Google Classroom. I hope that this has given you the confidence to get started. There's so much you can do and there's so much utility in the program that I know it will benefit you and your students in your classroom. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have, please hit like and subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technology and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.